Good morning, Ulta students. This is welcome to the first lesson on theory of structures, or TOS 150S. Um, before we start, I just want to say a few things. Um, as you can see here, this is a little one of the tables that's out of the learner guide, which by this time you should have gone through already. Um, I just want to just mention a few things uh, about the schedule for the coming weeks. You can see that we've got 12 lecture weeks. Okay, that's where we are now. So, I intend that in every week I'll put out a lesson or a video or, or two, but I'll, via WhatsApp, I'll keep informing you as to which lessons are going up when. And then you see here, uh, we have a holiday, a week holiday here, and then we have six more lectures here. And we have some revision there. And then the feast will take place in those two weeks there. And the day before Christmas, we close for lecture. Isn't it great? We work in flat out all the time. Okay. Sorry. So, people, all I want to just really mention is, um, when you think back to prime mechanics, remember we did frames, we did analysis of frames. Well, there's it over there. Okay. Force in frameworks, method of joints. It's exactly the same as we've done there. I'll give you a frame. You find the reactions, okay, by taking moments, by summing verticals, by summing horizontals. And then you take, you go to each joint in turn, and you find the size of the force, and whether the forces are tension or compression, that's the method of joints. So if you worked harder that, and you've done that well already, then that section should be an a walk in the park for you, okay? So when I come to there, I'm just going to do one or two frames and that's it because this can basically be a revision, okay? So you can see that there's the first apply mechanics topic there, okay? Then that's going to be new section properties. Now remember, when, when I gave you a cross section, you define the position of the centroid or bar x bar y, that's it over there, okay? And there as well, okay? So, but we're going to take that and expand that by a massive amount, okay? And then, there we have beams, okay? Remember, we did some supported beams and cantilever beams. We defined the reactions. In this topic here, we're going to take the beams, we're going to find the reactions, and then draw diagrams from there, shear of and bending moment diagram, and, ex and expand that topic massively as well. So, you can see that that's old stuff. We are going to build on that a lot. We're going to build on this a lot. So, deflection there and elastic bending, okay, and this here is actually the new stuff, okay. So, they're not much new. So, this, so basically, there's three brand new topics. There's three old topics, but we're going to expand on them massively, okay. And if you cast your mind back to the first time I spoke to you, I think, in the lecture theater in January or February of this year, I said, um, we're going to take three topics in applied mechanics and expand on it very much in theory of structures. These are the topics. Frameworks, method of joints, section properties, and semi-supported beams. Okay. So, people, that's all I want to just say. And as a bit of an intro to TOS or theory of structures. Um, this is in the learner guide, and I think near to the end there. Um, by this time, you should have read the learner guide. And you would have seen this table there. And this is what the coming semester is going to look like. Okay? I will see you in the next lesson.